Are you a nursing student who's struggling to write a nursing care plan? Let me walk you through the second step of the nursing process, which is diagnosis. Now, diagnosis is all about clustering and organizing all the information and data that you're gathering from your assessment to formulate an evaluative statement about what's happening with the client. So think of this like a triangle. You've got your triangle and upside down triangle. What you're doing is you've gathered all this data from your assessment, all this generalized information, and now you're trying to narrow it down to formulate your nursing diagnosis. A couple of things that the nurse must do to arrive at a nursing diagnosis is first, recognize cues. That's why it's so important to know what's abnormal versus what's normal, because then you can recognize, hmm, something's not right here. Nurses also need to be able to cluster and organize data. Sorting the data and clustering data is all part of what we call clinical reasoning. Clinical reasoning is a process where you evaluate and you pick out which information is important and which information is irrelevant. Now you're ready to select your nursing diagnosis. Here in North America, we select our nursing diagnosis out of a list by Nanda. A client can have multiple nursing diagnoses. It's your job to prioritize which one you need to address first. For more tips on how to create a nursing care plan, follow me here and go check out my YouTube channel. The link is in the bio. See you there.